Hi guys, so this is the slide that I was talking about in my recent PhD vlog. So the PhD vlog number nine, which was all about my uh, lessons from my first PhD thesis committee meeting presentation. And this is the slide which spoke about my timeline. So what I have achieved so far uh, in the first year of my PhD. And this is the slide which mostly summarizes what are the stuff that I was engaged in in the previous year. So if you can see in the timeline that I started my PhD in September 2019 and then since my first committee meeting was scheduled in September 2020, uh, it was a timeline for one whole year. And what you could do, what I would suggest you is to have different icon for different uh, tasks. So you can subdivide your task as your PhD project work and then publication if you have uh, poster presentations and also summer schools if you had the opportunity to attend those or if you got selected to those. Also, um, this is rather something strange, uh, not many people do but I am also running some parallel projects along with my PhD so you can add that as well so I just added this icon because it was my own um, idea and it it was accepted so yeah um, I used this sign for grants or fundings that you're applying for or if you received some already um, just to tell you that you know PhD is not just about researching on a specific topic but rather you also have PhD coursework um, and there are some mandatory uh, exams that you have to pass and also some ECTS that you have to gain so I just added that also and there's this icon of teaching duties because we are also teaching assistants and um, we have to have um, completed certain hours of teaching so you can you know what divide your um, PhD thesis committee meeting uh, presentation into two parts one part will be your scientific progress and it's all about your PhD project work so let's say if uh, the presentation lasts for 30 minutes you can focus for 20 minutes on that and then the rest 10 minutes you can focus on this timeline and I obviously had around five or six slides about uh, each of these so in total so in uh, after this timeline I showed them individual uh, aspects of each of these um, subdivisions so this is quite about it you can actually um, visually uh, show this and this becomes more interesting because if you just show them um, written text then it makes it really boring so I hope this was helpful if you want you can uh, use a similar format and if you want you can give me some credits for that so all the best uh, and I'll see you in another video so bye for now